Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm here to show you a project that I took from or watched the tutorial from Miss Liberty 25 here on YouTube and I'm doing this as a couple of things as a video response to hers video to her tutorials on the Shabby Chic stacking books and this is my take on that same project so this is the end views but let's go ahead and get started and this is my first book and what I have here is a um, a 6x6 six six album and this lollipop flower um, I put on over uh, I used some Nancy's Garden Flourishes from Gina's Designs and this is Gina's card from Gina's Designs so this is going to be one of um, another project for the design team and um, these flourishes, what I did with them was I UT'd them with black UT, put them, glued them on, put the lollipop flower over the flourishes and the flow the feathers came on the lollipop. This was handmade for me during one of our swaps um, on Little Scrap of Heaven. It was a basket full of flowers, I think. So my closure for this box is a... I have a braided trim and a raisin color. And I actually put on two um, of the Velcro. So if it, if it got really um, full, then I would have room to play with that. And then opening it up, I have two boxes over here with some recollection bling. And both of these boxes open to the side like that. So you can put things in both sides. And then on the other side, I made a pocket out of the paper. This paper is a from Seven Gypsies and I have hoarded this forever. Didn't know what I wanted to do with it, just kind of kept hoarding it forever. And when I was watching this tutorial um, from Miss Liberty, hi Miranda, this was a really fun project by the way. Oops, sorry for kicking the camera guys. And so I made a pocket and I put a little notepad in here so she I can write notes and the pocket is big enough so that I can also put us a, a thin slender pen right next to it also right next to that is some recollection bling again and you close it with a the velcro and then on the back of this book I have the raisin trim coming all the way to where the binding is um, for and then I added some smaller braided trim um, right on the edge of the spine and on the spine here I have a place where um, I can put a a label or I can put um, some kind of saying in there and so that's book number one. Now I didn't realize I was going to end up with four books. I was just kind of cutting along the chipboard and listening to Miranda and I ended up with with one extra six by six. So I went ahead and made it into an album anyway. Just kind of had fun. My second book I braided on this on the ends here and then this is the front of my book 
and the closure here is with a hair tie and a Tim Holtz knob and so that's how the closure is on the back um, there's some really pretty black trim and so I added that to the edge of the spine where it attaches to the back and then when you open the book up oops, as I drop it so this is the inside of the book and you can see the the braiding of the spine and then over here I think I'm going to place a photo right there actually but this little box I actually had in my stash for Valentine's Day it was a um, a Valentine's box from the Dollar Tree so I covered it with paper and then so that's the inside of the box as you can see the paper underneath is bright red and then I covered the inside of the lid and so it's a place to hold trinkets or notes or all kinds of what have yous so that's book number two now book number three I think is one of my favorites it was kind of fun to do um, this is the spine I have a chain wrapped all the way around all the way around the book this spine is made out of um, it looks like leather I don't know if you can see that oh, it has a little bit but it looks like kind of a leather but it's actually fabric I got from Walmart and this is the front of the book and this is a seven gypsies doorknob that I've I've had I actually started back at when I was living in Washington I went to a scrapbook store called Scrappy Stamper and this is one of our projects that we did on a weekend and um, this it came to the front of this little tiny book well I've never used this little book and um, had I realized the measurements I probably would have made one of the other books tall enough to accommodate this because it has places to put um, photos or notes and so it was a really fun project that we did um, early on in my scrapping days um, so it was fun hi Susan if you look watching hi Nia, Leona really a fun project but what I did was I went ahead and took the front of the the book off and it was the same paper so I just kind of attached by using some dimensionals so it's raised up and that and then my closure is this um, Tim Holtz um, paper clip but this is what I really like about this box is these are matchbooks and I put um, little strips of paper painted them black on the front and then little these little um, anyway each one of these drawers open and can come out so you can store you can store little projects or little items in in those little drawers anyway this was so much fun I tried it with and then I attach it right to the side of this um, right there and so it comes around I have a key attached with a Tim Holtz swivel right here and this was so much fun I tried it with two rows of matchbooks but it was real busy and I didn't like it so I went ahead and went ahead and took them off and then just started to stick with how Miranda did hers originally and which was the two I mean the one stack and then the very last the fourth book this was a lot of fun to make as well but here's my spine I'm thinking about adding um, Miranda put one on on the end of one of her books 
I hate to copy Miranda, but it really looked like fun. So that way I could put a photo right in here, right on the edge of the, the spine. And then I added a recollection bling to the spine on the front. I have this really really pretty Viennese lace, some flat back pearls, and some recollection bling. I brought over a black ribbon that's attached underneath the spine all the way to the front and then that's the closure for this box. So each one of my four boxes have a different closure which was really kind of fun. And then this is the back of my box. Also the Venus Lace flat, flat back beads and some recollection bling. So as I untie it, now this box I put on here also came from my stash that I had for Valentine's Day. What I did, um, as you can see, is I distressed it with the Tim Holtz black soot and then I put over the top of that the entire box um, because the paper is really shiny. So I went ahead and I glue and sealed it with a Ranger product and then the distress paint um, doesn't come off now. And this is the other side of that I put some recollection bling and then some little tiny trim here on the bottom and what I did that for was so that my it wouldn't be uneven so my box kind of didn't fall kind of to one side it kind of stayed put so and then on the very top of this here I have two flowers again I have another one of those lollipop flowers that I really really love these flowers and then I put an I am roses um, red rose at the top and this box opens this way I put um, paper on the bottom oops I, I do need to get in and finish the the side of the box but anyway it's a very large box to put things kind of keepsake and it is attached to the back of the book so the box is not going to move and that's all I did to my boxes was um, they're kind of like for little hidden storage places for um, little goodies or hiding places and again these are my my books that I created. Anyway, I want to thank Miranda for showing us how to make this project. It was a lot of fun and I hope you'll enjoy watching the video, Miranda. And um, I'd like to um, encourage everybody to um, stop by Gina's designs at www.ginasdesigns.net and www.blogspot I'm sorry <laughs> forget that um, it is Gina has a blog and I will list all of them um, at the beginning of the video or the end of the video and anyway go ahead and stop by your shop she really has some fun um, elements chipboards laser chipboards to alter have fun and enjoy your week thanks guys bye